And while dozens of states see a surge in coronavirus cases, Massachusetts is still touting these low numbers. There are some communities, though, that are seeing a higher proportion of cases than the state average. And Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is in our control room with more on what's being done to help those particular areas. Look, guys, statewide right now, just 1.9% of people tested for COVID-19 have come back with positive test results. That's a really low number, and it's been that way for the past few weeks, which is why Massachusetts is leading the nation really when it comes to these low rates of infection but eight communities have much higher rates in relation to that statewide average and that's why governor baker is putting more of a focus on testing in those areas and two of them are in our area fall river and new bedford while these eight cities make up less than a tenth of the population in massachusetts they right now make up more than a quarter of all positive cases and it's not because they're testing more here Actually, testing has declined in these areas. It's just there have been more positive cases among those who have been tested. So Governor Baker said, even if you don't feel sick and live in these places, this testing is being made available for everyone. The goal of this initiative is to provide widespread asymptomatic testing in an easy to access location within these communities. Increased testing within these communities will help to identify new cases of COVID-19 and help stop community transmission. It will also provide people with a certain sense of comfort if they do believe that they may have been exposed or otherwise believe they need to be tested. So where can you go? Well, these are the locations near us in Fall River and New Bedford. There will be a mobile test site at Pleasant and Mason Street, as well as a testing at S-Star on Stanley Street in Fall River. And then New Bedford's location opens at 8 o'clock this morning on Purchase Street. There will be workers at all of these places that speak English, Spanish, and Portuguese to accommodate everyone living there. And also, these are made available from now until August 14th. It could go past that as well. So the governor said you don't need to rush there this morning first thing, but just know that they are being made available from now until then. Live in the control room this morning, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.